Hi, this is Anne with a quick anagram on the three URLs um, that you will be using um, for working with your replit projects. And, um, and the one that's most important to me for grading and giving you help. So um, first of all, a bit of jargon. A URL is a technical term. Um, you know it better as a web address, but what can I say? I'm a web developer. I use the jargon. Um, it's a URL to me. Um, I do know, I have known people who refer to that as an URL. Um, but if you ask somebody what, their, what the URL for their website is, mostly they won't know. If you ask them what the URL for their website is, they will know that. So um, generally, I advise you to, to refer to these three letters as URL and not URL. Um, okay, so we're going to be working in replit projects. And any particular replit project is referred to by me anyway as a REPL. Um, when I give you a URL to get to a REPL so that you can fork it to um, make it your own code, um, if you're going to give uh, a URL to your REPL for somebody to, like you're working with another student and you want them to be able to view what you've got, or you want to share it with a buddy, um, uh, show your mom even, um, you can, you this is the public URL that you will use, this format here. It shows up here at the top of the REPL itself. Okay, so I'm just gonna click on this one. This is exactly what you'll get in the slides from me is, is URLs that look like that. If you click it, takes a minute, but it opens up a version of that project. You can run it from here. But if you started to change the code, you'd end up making your own copy. Um, and that's what you do when you, when you, I give you starter code is that you fork it and make your own copy. So um, unfortunately, what you can see from this page is only two URLs and not the most important one that I need. This is what I'm gonna to refer to consistently as the public URL. This is what I'm going to try to refer to consistently as the testing URL. So if you um, are working with more complicated code later in the semester, and I tell you to open it up in a new tab, okay, you can do that one of two ways. You can either copy this and go to a browser window and paste it in, or you can simply click this open in a new tab button, and you get a whole browser view of the same code. And what this is useful for is a couple of things. First of all, this little preview window is not a full web page, and there are certain things that just don't work perfectly from it. Um, but also, this version allows you later in the semester when we're working with the um, debugger to actually look at the console and look at code. Okay, so there are features of the page when it's running from this full tab view that are not there when you're running from this little preview. They're not important for the first couple of weeks of the course, so don't worry about it yet, okay? But that's only two. And unfortunately, the third and most important URL isn't visible uh, from this version of um, when you first open this up. So what you have to do to get me the URL that I need to either um, grade your work or to make a house call, or to share the code with you if we're working interactively, is you need this URL, okay? Um, you can tell it's, it's the read-write URL um, by looking at it. It has the user's name at the end, and then basically just some gibberish letters for the actual name of the, of the project. So you can control C that, um, you can click the copy button, and this is what you'll turn in. Okay. So going back to the slides, okay. when you first open your project, you see the public URL, you see the testing URL. You have to click the share button in order to open up this dialog. Do not send me an invitation. Um, that if you do, it goes to an email that, that um, just gets lost, okay? What I need 
is this URL down here, which you can copy into your clipboard with this button, okay, and then turn in. So um, I'm gonna make this uh, set of slides available with the video, and this is just a quick summary. Um, I used to have only this slide, and it seemed like it was so busy that it didn't make much sense to people, so I created the other two. But this really tells you everything you need to know. The public URL is up here in green, the testing URL is here in yellow, and in order to get to the read-write URL or the grading URL, you have to click this share button and come down here and copy this URL. Hope that makes things easier to get help and get graded correctly.